Hey, Neil. Hey, Alex. Hey, what's up? Oh, my God. What's happening? This is base heaven? It's the Casa de Bajo. Whoa, and these are the... For ash anyone outside of Texas, that's house of bass. Okay, hey, okay. So, Neil, in your own right, you're also a bass player. I am. I've been you, accused of that. You've been... <laughs> and so, uh, you're now carrying Ash Down. We which are. are. Very cool amps. Very excited about that. Tell, uh, tell us a little bit about the line and... Well, real quick, I'll tell you why. The first time I ever played on an Ash Down amp, I was playing a gig in Europe. Pat myself on the back. Yeah. They had an Ash Down amp there for the bands to use. I had never played through one before. I plugged it in and it was the best sounding amp I've heard in my life. And I came home ranting and raving about Ashdown. Flash forward to me coming to work for Redbone Guitar Boutique here in San Antonio. They asked me what kind of bass amps we should carry and I said without hesitation, Ashdown. Um, Ashdown used to just make very, very high end amps made in England, very expensive. They're, they now make consumer priced amps as well. Okay, so which bass are we looking at right now? Well, the bass we're looking, bass amp we're looking at is an Evo 3 500. Um, like I said, Ashdown makes a bunch of different amps, some in England, some in the U.S. Um, this Ashdown here is about a 380 watt amp if you're running it as is. You can add another cabinet to the bottom of it and you'll get 500 watts. Um, but this is plenty for any gig. No one, you don't need a bigger amp than this. Uh, it's got some really cool features. One I'm playing around with here is called a subharmonic. Okay. And so it takes the original sound you're playing and then adds another sound one octave below it. Okay. So if I take this switch out. singer in a three-piece band and there's just a guitar player and the guitar player goes off into a solo kick that on sounds like you got two basses very cool and then I can kick that up when I don't want it it has built-in compression which is just a uh, a way of keeping your sound very smooth it cuts off the peaks and brings up the valleys and so it just keeps things very smooth for bass that's real nice um, it has inputs for active or passive electronics. This is a Fender Roadworn bass I'm playing here. It has passive electronics, which aren't as powerful as some, so it can accept that here. Uh, it has a balanced line out, so you can go straight to the PA system. So you're playing on stage, the PA guy just grabs a mic cable, plugs it in there, and you're straight into the PA. And uh, from there, it's just sweet sounds. a whole range like even these smaller ones but what's so cool is this really funky fabric that they use that really make these not only great amps but they're great looking they're really they're great looking amps they have and I'll say this about Ashdowns even in their smallest little practice amp yeah little 15 watt amp for bass guitar it's hard to get a small amp that will hold up to the low frequencies a lot of small amps you you get your low E string and they just kind of right bleh. That's the first 15 watt amp I've ever played through that even on a five string bass, on your low B string, stays tight. Right. So that amp there, we can sell you that amp for $179 and it's a great sounding practice amp. And how do people find Redbone Guitar? Well, you can find us online at redboneguitar.com. You can follow us on Twitter at Redbone. You can find us on MySpace at Redbone Guitars. Um, we're all over the place. Just well, type you. in Redbone Guitar and find us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.